there's three tests. One is group, one is isolated, those two are in prone, and then there's a standing one, okay? So, this one is the group hip extensors test. And that is hamstrings and gluteus maximus, okay? In order to test those together, we're going to do a hip extension with the knee straight, okay? So, Marlene, what I want you to do is just lift your left leg off the table. There's a little bit of substitution here. She's rolling and she's rotating her foot out. So I'm going to tell her to keep her foot pointed down. I'm going to stabilize at the pelvis, okay? So she went full range, so she's at least a two plus, right? Three minus. Okay, bring your leg up again. Hold that position and don't let me move you. I'm going to use a long lever. Hold, 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 hold. Okay, I'd say she gave it mod to max resistance. So what does that mean that she has as far as a grade? Four, 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 four out of five. Okay, and I used a long lever because the glute max and the hamstring are pretty strong ones, right? Okay, now to take out the hamstrings, I'm going to do pretty much the same test except I'm going to change one thing. Huh? Bend the knee. Bend the knee. Thank you, Marlene. <laughs> Sorry. You can't help it. You're just like, I know the answer. Okay, so if we bend the knee and usually go to about 90 degrees, then what would be the movement of the glute maximum? What does it do? Still extend it. Still hip extension, okay? So now I want you to bring your heel straight up towards the ceiling. A little bit of substitution, so we got to straighten it out. So she's, she's substituting with glute knee by rotating out, okay? Okay, good, and back down. All right, and then this next time I'm going to have you hold that position. So come on up. Okay, I want you to just try to hold that. She goes right into a substitution. Yeah, I can't touch. Hold, she's shaking too. Okay, hold, 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 hold. Good. So I'd say she could hold against moderate to maximal. Um, so she'd be a four plus in the glute max. Okay, so that was glute max, and then that was hip extensors as a group. So hamstring and glute max. Now, to test hamstrings, because I want to be able to test those and isolate those, what would my test position, what would I do there? I should probably stop it. <laughs> 